Hey guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Well, we are doing some fabulous next level Christmas in July and craft fair crafting. And that's exactly what we're going to keep doing today. We are going to make some really beautiful Christmas packaging, perfect for holding craft fair items or a gift for that special someone, friend, coworker, family member, whomever. It's great for that. So let's get started. And today's project is this really adorable, adorable two and a half by six inch box. It is so cute. Got the wonderful little takeoff lid, goes on very easily. And then you've got a lid on the bottom and I'll show you exactly how I did this. And you guys can make these wonderful boxes in no time at all. So we are going to start with a piece of 11 by six paper and we're going to score this every two and a half inches. So on the 11 inch side, we're scoring at two and a half and I'm gonna turn this over because I want this to be my outside. So we're going to score at two and a half, at five, at seven and a half, and at 10. So then we're going to come back and just fold and burnish our scores. And this paper is just so gorgeous. I wish I had bought more of it. I got it from AC Moore when they had the six for a dollar sale and they didn't have a whole lot of it. But if I ever see it again, I'm getting more because I absolutely love it. I love both sides of it. And then I'm going to take my glue and place it on my one inch flap here. Get, get that nice and stuck. And then I'll come back and I'm simply going to lay this down, match it up, making sure that I've got everything nice and even. And then I'll come back with my bone folder and just put my hand in there and get my glue stuck down. And just like that, we have got the makings of our box. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my scoreboard in so that we can make our lids. And I've already made one, and we are going to make our lids using a piece of paper that measures five and um, five eighths by five and five eighths. And we are going to score this at half an inch and at one and one half on all four sides. And then we're going to fold and burnish our scores. And guys, this will be one of the easiest and quickest projects that you're likely to see me do. Um, every now and then I'll throw a little quickie in there, but I am all about the chipboard and making boxes and bags. And when you're doing it the way that I do it, it does take time. So I am not one of those crafters who is crafting for speed. I am crafting for quality and excellence. And that's not always quick. So all I'm going to do is cut out my tabs. So I'll have an end piece that I'll have to remove completely just like that. And so all I'm, I'm doing is cutting up to the score line, not through it. And then I'm doing a slight angle cut on my tab. And then I'll angle cut out here. And then I'll remove the corner piece, just like that. And because this project is going fairly quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see me do all of this. Usually I'll edit out some of it so you don't have to watch me but 
we're going to spend this time together. Last one. We're going to remove that final corner piece. Okay, so when you're done, you're going to be left with this, and it'll look just like this. So what we want to do is fold these backwards, and we are going to place glue on our tabs, and we'll put our box together. Just like this. So I'll come back, get this nice and stuck. I'll come in with my bone folder, making sure I've got it stuck. And I'll do the same thing here. Put it down. Make sure I've got my edges nice and square. And by square, I mean end to end. Everything is touching, nothing is hanging over. Come on this side and do the same thing. I'm going to place my glue just like this. And I am going to just end to end match up. And then I'll come back with my bone folder, get everything nice and stuck. Again, I'm doing my end-to-end -end folding, and you can see how nice and neat that looks. So now what I'll do is I'll bend these backwards, and I am going to just take some glue and put it on all four. All right, so then we'll fold in and just smooth these down. And I'll do this with all of these. I'm just gonna fold in, come in with my bone folder, and get that nice and smooth. Same thing here. So I'll come in with my bone folder, get it nice and smooth, and then I'm just gonna run my bone folder around so that I've got everything nice. And now I'll come back and I'll put my lid on. And I'll put my lid on here. And you can see how they fit and just how pretty this actually is. So what I want to do is I don't want my bottom coming off at all. So I am going to take some glue. I want my bottom to be stuck um, to the box. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I want to show you guys different ways that you can very quickly make a box. And this is one of those ways. You don't have to worry about folding and cutting a whole bunch on the box base. You just make it like this, add your bottom to it, and then just come back with your bone folder and just go around and get everything nice and stuck, and you're gonna have one beautiful box. Okay, so I'm gonna let that grab, just like that. And you can see just how pretty that is, how well that fits, and how pretty it looks. So now what I'm going to do is I'll place my lid on the top, this lid, of course, we can't glue it down. And you can see what a beautiful box we have. And you see how little time it actually took to make it. So now what I want to do is I want to come back and I want to dress up the spot. I think that what I'm going to do is just dress it at the top this time. And I'm gonna grab some of my Jingle Bells.
So guys, on this one, I dressed it up with the rosette. But on this one, I think I'm going to dress it up with some of my beautiful Prima flowers. And I am just going to group them on here. So I like where I have this one placed. So I'm going to go ahead and just place some tape on it. Or glue on it, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm just going to kind of group these. So I'm going to place some hot glue right there. And I'm going to stagger it and stack it so that it's sticking up just a little bit. And then I think I'll come back and place one. I think I'm going to place it. Let me put it on the box and I'll know how I feel about it. And I think I will place it right there at the top. And just have a nice little grouping of poinsettias. I think that'll be very pretty. Just like that. And you can see just how nice that is. It is so sweet and just so pretty and so Christmas. And so then I'm going to carry my flower theme down just a little bit. And I'm going to put some glue there. And then I'm going to put just a large flower right there. So everything is just going to tie in so nicely. And then I'll take one and I think I'm going to have it just kind of hanging over the edge. Just like that. No, I think I'll bring it in like that. And I think that that is such a pretty little box. So cute. And I'll bring in my other one and you can see they're alike but different. We've got Santa here and then we've got our Argyle and the two papers actually work together to give you a really beautiful display on your table. And that's what it's all about, our really beautiful gift packaging to give to someone. It truly is all about the presentation and the quality and the look that you're going for. And I think this look is just so super cute. I hope that you guys have liked this project. If you have, please hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.